Hello, and welcome back to Destiny. It's us again. Hello, welcome back to Destiny. I'm dubious. Grey Fox. That one, yeah. Dubiously myself. <sighs> I, I can understand. It's fine. Anyway, today's, uh, today's video is the strike. The summoning pits. And unfortunately, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't drum up a, 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 a goon team. So, we are doing this solo, more or less. You couldn't get a goon squad together? Could not get a goon squad. But that's fine. I, I do have footage with a goon, who was level 40 and some odd light level above 300. But anyway, uh... I did say solo, and I, I kind of do mean solo, because uh, for more or less the first half of the video, I am alone. Despite the fact that strikes are three-man uh, instances. So Aren't we all inevitably alone? It's true. It's very true. Mm. Something dark stirs in the depths of the Hellmouth. We can feel it. A hive abomination bred for unthinkable evil. We must pierce the veil of their summoning pits and destroy this creature before the hive unleash it upon us all. We're, damn it, you got me doing it now. <laughs> <laughs> we were trying to do it live, except I managed to completely fuck up the audio balancing, and so the footage was unusable. So this is this is uh, me just recording as I usually do. But uh, yeah, uh, when we tried doing it live, I was trying to find a a fresh strike instead of something that was like halfway through, and it took me finishing out one group's strike to actually get a new one ready because there was only one group doing it at the time of recording and even then <clears throat> you still didn't really like you had to do most of it by yourself right? yeah exactly as I'm doing now in fact and then the magnificence that was Jorge <laughs> Jorge holds a special place in, in Fox and Mine Hearts yeah and there may or may not be Jorge related material at the end of the video. Jorge, I poured one out for you, my homie. <laughs> so yeah, we're going back back through this again. You might recognize it. We've been here quite a few times already now. Yes, this is my second part of Deja Vu. <laughs> It'll happen. I feel like I've seen this place before. Yeah, for all that talk about hive architecture being the same, well, for the moon, we are actually just going to the same place over and over again. But I mean, the moon's not that small. Come on, Bungie. Well, I mean, Earth isn't confined to Russia either, but here we are. So, yeah, um. Jeez, Bungie, come on. <laughs> Once again, we could have run straight through all of those guys, but um, fighting them is more safe because then you don't have to worry about them coming in behind you. So, our first encounter of the actual strike is this. There's the big old chain. You notice it's it's not moving anymore. Spoopy. Oh, so it isn't. So yeah, first encounter is a wave defense. There are three waves, oh. corresponding with three three locks on the door. I swear I just saw it move. It may have. I wasn't paying that much attention. And I didn't pause to look in the video. So yeah, um, this wave defense is pretty difficult when you're alone. Because it's balanced for three people. So, um... I have... Insane that you're over-leveled for this, so... Slightly, yeah. It makes it a little bit easier. I'm slightly overleveled, yeah, but um, this goes back to the whole hide behind things for a while, while I recuperate from taking hits because otherwise I just wouldn't survive. 
so I apologize for that. Thankfully about... Uh, okay, that looks like a new gun. That's a pulse rifle. We've seen it before. Oh. Yep. You hold down the trigger, it charges, and after about a second and a half, it fires a three-round or five-round burst of pure energy. It's uh, slightly effect or it's effective at a slightly longer range than a shotgun, but of course it's nowhere near accurate as a sniper rifle. Of course, because that's what sniper rifles are known for. <clears throat> of course. So yeah. It'd be a little bit unusual if a burst fire gun was more accurate than a sniper rifle well, yeah. over a long distance. <clears throat> also, you may notice I'm using one of my least favorite weapon types. Ugh, I hate these things. Also, I misnamed it. It's a fusion rifle. This is a pulse rifle that I'm using now. Mm -hmm. I was right all along. It is something different. Well, yeah. But we've seen it before, regardless. So, yeah. I'm gonna... I, I'll be playing safe until my teammates eventually decide that they want to queue up for this strike. So, I apologize for that. I was going fairly smoothly. Yeah, it's not too bad. I have played this game entirely too much. I'm starting to sense a pattern. Shouldn't be long. You're telling me, Python. <laughs> hey, hey, I, I grinded up all of the year one stuff. Except for, like, the expansions. I remember doing the first raid, and it was pretty freaking awesome. Unfortunately, I haven't had the opportunity to do any of the new raids that have come out since the first one, but, you know. Also, be aware of your surroundings. Don't oh. be exploded by thralls. Uh, I probably... Uh, exploded thralls. <laughs> I probably should have edited it out, but... Uh, this is the true strike experience. I mean, not being alone, of course, but people dying to stupid things when they're not paying attention like I just did. You know, I'm getting some more deja vu. I feel like we've done this before. Have we? Man. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, this is the successful one, at least. Uh, and my teammates do show up about halfway through it. In fact, they just did. Not even halfway. Hey, this one's actually a three-person group. Yeah. Unfortunately, Jorge is not part of it, so we've lost already. I mean, uh, Jorge in my head is the true run yeah. because you two-manned that ship. <laughs> so you see that that notice where I'm the last guardian st guardian standing? It's because my other teammates haven't entered the darkness zone yet. So uh, until they do, if I die. It, um, It'll still reset the encounter. With but the thing about it is, it'll also teleport my teammates to me. Right. Makes sense. Yeah. So I'm not alone anymore. So that's great. He's got some overleveled dudes. Yeah. I mean, as you said, it doesn't really matter, does it? No, not really. Uh, it does scale down the damage in strikes and and count uh, and. Um, activities. So, um, you'll usually end up taking about the same amount of damage and uh, dealing the same amount of damage as if you were on level with them. Generally, at least. That being said, if you are a high level with exotic weaponry, which are equivalent to, like, legendaries, then you're still going to just outclass everything in here. That sounds like fun. It is fun. Unfortunately, uh, all the uh, all the exotics, once again, like legendary things, they are all incredibly grindy and hard to get. In fact, I remember my first my first exotic that I actually ground uh, grinded up for was, I believe, the thorn. And that one, oh god, that that quest was awful. I have no idea what that means, but okay. Uh, we'll I get believe. we'll go, we'll go into it at a later later time when it becomes more pertinent. I'm starting to sense a pattern. Shouldn't be long. So yeah, last wave. Mm-hmm. 
This one has a mini boss wizard. We all know my feelings on wizards. You don't like whimsy and magic, we know, Python. I told you I like warlocks, but wizards can go fuck themselves. <laughs> but warlocks are the dark arts. Well, you know, maybe I'd just like to see the world burn. Maybe. Don't we all? So, one good way to chump out the mini boss is to just throw a super at it. <laughs> also, shame your teammates are downed. Well, I like I said, I was playing extraordinarily safe. Uh, normally, I'd be one of the ones down on the ground <laughs> because this fight sucks if you're not playing safe. Melee fight! Yeah. You generally don't win those, by the way. I just had the knight low enough that I could take the risk on it. Also of note is that fusion rifles cannot crit. So even if you're aiming at the head and hit them a couple of times, it will not crit. It just does the same amount of damage. So the best, the best way of dealing damage with a fusion rifle is aim for center of mass as if you're actually, you know, firing a weapon in real life. That sounds both good and bad in different aspects. Mm -hmm. Good because at least the damage is consistent no matter where you hit them and you can hit them in the biggest part. Bad because I'm assuming crits are good because they do way more damage than you'd normally do. Yeah. Uh, uh, different weapon styles have different crit modifiers. As you can see my pulse rifle here is only doing about 20, 26 more damage on a crit. So it's not really that big of a deal. Although I'll still aim for them because extra damage is extra damage. Uh, whereas, like, hand cannons, uh, um, the uh, the term is, the scout rifles, hand cannons and scout rifles have a huge crit multiplier, so a accuracy is really important to those, obviously, so. Uh, yeah, that's pretty standard in, like, I guess, loot-style FPSs, like Borderlands in this, where... Sniper rifles do way more damage to the head than any other weapon. Mm hmm Looter shooters. Looter shooters, there you go. Yeah. But yeah, uh, it does make sense, the way they balance things. So, uh, but as for me, I always aim for the head anyway, because that's just how I've played since playing COD. Since playing the game that must not be spoken of. <laughs> Wasn't there something about a ghost? Hmm. Hmm? What? <laughs> so, my teammate... That seems to just be the spirit of a memory, Python. Hmm, must be. So my teammates get lost here. I'm actually fighting these things alone right now. As you can see on the minimap, or the, the rangefinder, my teammates are the green arrows behind me. They went in the completely opposite direction. I did not realize that until I died. <laughs> they went the wrong way by the looks of it. Oh well, yeah, they did. I mean, Look, if this was... trying to kill your ghost. <laughs> if this was the world's grave, they'd be heading in the right direction. But this is not the world's grave. This is... This is the summoning pits, and the summoning pits are not that way. Also, yeah, if there are no uh, teammates around you uh, when you die, they will just sit there and slap at your ghost for a while doesn't do anything. I guess but. I don't know how ineffectual it is, yeah. <laughs> you should let your teammates know how disappointed in them you are. Um, I mean, if there was a way I would, at the moment I can just praise the, praise the light at them, and that that's not disappointment. That's... I mean, that's disappointment that, for that you. That is disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can wave at them, I can praise the light at them, I can sit at them. That's really effective. And, uh, and, uh, I forget the last one. I can dance with them. Hey, look, your team caught up. Well, the one person who managed to stay, the other guy just kind of left. Oh, that's a bit weird. A little bit. So, uh, before we get into the actual boss fight, I'm taking a look through my, uh, inventory, seeing if I have anything that's not a stupid fucking pulse rifle. I don't. Nothing that's good anyway. 
Wonder what that is roaring in the background. Certainly couldn't be a boss or anything. That's crazy talk. That that could be a boss. And we can spec into angry magic if we'd like, but we're gonna skip that. I mean, that seems pretty um, canon to spec into out. angry magic. <laughs> so, uh, oh, whoops. Huh. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Um. So the tooltip for angry magic. Whatever, man. All right. Uh, the tooltip for angry magic just means that our super will track enemies, and so will some of our grenades. Makes things easier, but I like I like what I've got now because it explodes bigger. I mean, that only sounds kind of like angry magic. Well, I mean, it's angry in that it wants to seek you out and completely annihilate you. Hey, this guy's already better than Jorge. Yeah. I mean, there's no I mean, one better worse than, Jorge. than Jorge. Worse. There's no one better than Jorge. So, exactly. this, the secret to beginning this boss fight is to clear out all of the uh, all the small fry before you unchain the boss. And you unchain the boss by sitting there and doing damage to him while he's chained up. A lot of new players and a lot of very impatient people will choose to shoot at the boss first at all costs. And it usually makes for a very, um, let's just say, interesting fight. Unless you're Jorge, where you're just bad enough, badass enough to take the boss yourself. It's true. It's very true. But um, as with all bosses, this guy will summon in more and more small fry to deal with throughout the fight. So if you've still got the original bunch, then you could potentially be in a lot of trouble. So here's a question for you. Why'd they have him all chained up? I, and why are they now defending him? I don't know. Maybe they were powering him up and they wanted to make sure he didn't go anywhere. I don't know. <laughs> I don't actually know. Hey, or, look, someone else joined. Yep. Maybe, just maybe, he is so powerful and unstable that he would kill them as soon as he would kill anything else, so they wanted to wait until the opportune moment to set him free and wreak havoc. Also, how can he see you? He doesn't have eyes. Uh, space magic. Oh, okay. And can you, continuing the long-standing tradition of your allies dying and you being the only one alive? <laughs> yeah. So, um, I mentioned a few videos back that ogres are incredibly, incredibly accurate with their eye lasers if you're standing anywhere close to still. And, uh, they track decently well, even if you are moving. Uh, so yeah, Tel, uh, Telthor? No, that's not his name. Whatever the boss's name is. He can kill you very, very quickly. And, um, basically you just want to keep moving or stay behind cover. Whichever one you like better. Fogoth. Fogoth is his name. But, uh, yeah. I know enough. I think enough. right now he's telling you to fog off. He is. Definitely telling us to fog off. <laughs> uh, hmm. So, uh, but yeah, this guy is a pain in the ass, and I've done this strike enough to know that I should not be out in the open. Some people just haven't seemed to realize that. Those Thankfully, people are idiots and Jorge. Never forget Jorge. Finally, the abomination has been destroyed. The vanguard will be grateful. A creature of the dark has been slain, and our world spared another atrocity. But how many more hive abominations are still out there, growing among the darkness? I fear we may find out all too soon. That's Olé. <laughs> Olé. That's it for the uh, that's it for the summoning pits. We'll uh, we'll see you next time when we get uh, introduced to our next destination.
Hi. Wait, Jorge, he just sent me a friend request. Jorge, ole! <laughs>